chemical energy, heat energy, light energy, sound energy and nuclear energy. Even the electrical energy as well. Right? So in this chapter, we are going to learn that what is actually a light energy. Okay? So the, so the properties of light, at first we are lining up here, that the first property should be light is a type of energy or light is one form of energy. So the light energy, how we are able to uh, use that kind of energy in uh, viewing all the surrounding things, how we can use that kind of energy. Actually, there are a lot of researches were done on the properties of light and finally it was concluded that we can say that light is one form of energy and some of the scientists, they also prefer to say that light is an electromagnetic wave. Okay. Light is an electromagnetic wave. So, light... The light is yes. having. Uh, yes. Okay. Just mute yourself so that the rest of the people can uh, understand it clear. Virendra Thapa. There are some background noises coming. So I'm just muting you. Okay. Okay. So the two kind of characteristics we are able to say that Sir, light. Sorry, yeah. because I missed my work. Uh, don't worry, we are starting from the first. Okay, I'm just repeating the whole thing, whatever I have said. That light is a one form of energy, right? Because with the presence of light energy, we are able to see the surrounding things, right? Even in the presence of a sun, we are able to get the sunlight in the daytime, and with the help of this light energy we are able to see the surrounding things everything if there is no light we are not able to see anything though we have eyes we are helpless without the source of light suppose in your house um, at a particular time the electricity is just gone so what will happen if it is the time of night or if it is the evening time so whenever the lights gone off or the there is no electricity in your area, so you are not able to see anything. So though you have the eyes, without the source of light, you are not able to see anything. Right? So we can say with the use of light energy, we are able to see the things on which the light falls. Right? So at first we will study the characteristics of light. What are the different properties of light? So the two points I have written. The first one is light is one form of energy. Second one light is an electromagnetic wave. Now why I am saying light is an electromagnetic wave? Because if you see the light spectrum, the spectrum of light you will uh, get in class 9 or in class 10. Okay. It is further being researched and it is said that in the wave of light there are electric field as well as magnetic field due to the presence of electric field and magnetic field in the light wave we can say that light is an electromagnetic wave why that this thing is clear yes sir yes sir yes sir okay you can uh, say your yes sir in the chat, okay? It's better to say in the chat. Okay. So light is having dual nature. So based on the properties or based on the characteristics of light, the scientists have said that the light is having dual nature. So we will study dual nature of light. What are the nature they have told us? One is actually known as particle nature. Okay. Another they have said.
state that it is having the nature of a wave as well. So two kind of nature of light we will study. One is the particle nature, another is the wave nature. Okay. Okay, I am just speaking a little louder. Just wait. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, let my microphone, yeah. So, we are going to study the dual nature of light. One is the particle nature, another is the wave nature. Whenever I am saying that light is a one kind of particle, what type of particle? It's the photon particles. Okay, light is a source of photon particles. So, this thing we have to write whenever we are considering that light is having the particle nature. Right? There are two yeah. groups. Yes. Yes, see. Sorry, it's not hearing. Okay, you are not able to hear. My voice is breaking. So, Okay, okay. So now whether my voice is clear? No, yes, sir. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Now there are two groups of scientists right there. They are researching on the properties of light. Some of yes, the sir. scientists have said that light is having the particle nature. Other scientists have said that light is having the wave nature. Right? So there was a conflict. So finally it was proved that light was having dual nature. That means particle nature as well as the wave nature. Okay. Whenever we are assuming that light is a one kind of particle, that means it is said as a light is a source of Light is a source of photon particles. Okay. Whenever we are considering the particle nature of light, then we can say that light is a source of photon particles. That means the photons are known as energy particles. Okay. In this case, we can say that the photons the photons they are known as energy particles okay the photons are the energy particles whenever the light is falling or suppose if we are uh, taking the example of sunlight with the help of the sunlight we can generate the electricity we know with the use of solar cell or with the use of photovoltaic cell, we can generate electricity from sunlight. Right? Why we are able to generate yeah. the electricity only from the sunlight? Because so, because it gives the waves, electricity waves. No, it is not giving the electricity waves. Light is consisting of photon particles. And these are very highly yeah. energetic particles. Okay? So, whenever these particles are falling on the <laughs> photovoltaic plate, they are generating the electricity. Okay. Due to the presence of yes, photons, we can say we can generate the electricity. Yeah, any question? Sir. Yeah. Sir, I didn't understand anything. Don't worry. Just, I'm just repeating that thing. Now, this thing we have to study because in your book, they have started the concept from the reflection. They have given a very basic introduction. But this is the actual nature of light that I'm clearing at this time. Okay? Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, dual nature of light means light is having two kind of nature. One is the particle nature. Another is the wave nature. I will tell about the wave nature as well. Just wait. Till that time we are understanding the particle nature of light. For that we consider that light is a source of photon particles. What is a photon? Photon is an energy particle. So I don't know. Okay. 
just understand photon is an energy particle whenever the photons are falling on the photovoltaic plate they are generating the electricity okay this okay, the concept of reflection okay. of light refraction of light dispersion of light we can explain with the particle nature of light whenever we are considering that light is a source of photon particles then we can explain three things okay in this case we are yes. going to explain three things first one is reflection of light a reflection of light second one is a refraction of light okay and third one is dispersion of light this dispersion of light light these three things we can explain when we consider light is a source of photon particles okay then only i can explain the reflection refraction and dispersion of light is that clear the particle nature yes, is sir. clear yes sir okay yes sir okay now we are going to understand the wave nature in the next page as in this page there is a lack of space yes, okay so i hope everything is written everyone yes sir okay that's good now the wave nature yes sir okay you can see in the chat as well okay your voice is too loud now wave nature of light <coughs> wave nature of light can be explained by considering that light is a one type of electromagnetic wave we have already written in the first point that the two points i have written first one light is a one form of energy second light is an electromagnetic wave so whenever we are going to explain the wave nature of light i will consider that light is an electromagnetic wave so with this wave nature with this wave nature which things i can explain i can explain the interference interference diffraction and polarization of light okay whenever we consider that light is an one type of electromagnetic wave then i can explain the interference diffraction and polarization of light these things are not included in your syllabus the wave nature of light you will study in class 12 okay it is yes, not sir. included in the syllabus yes, but we can say that what is mean by wave yes, nature sir. okay what is mean yes, by sir. wave nature oh my god you can say your yes sir in the chat option it is open i can see the chats okay okay now the wave nature of light can be understandable whenever we consider that light is an electromagnetic wave and we can explain the interference diffraction and polarization with this wave nature of light but in this chapter we have to study the particle nature only so first of all we are going to understand what is the reflection of light okay so there i am just giving a small heading what is the reflection of light we are going to understand so here a reflection of light okay so with the help of the reflection how to understand that what is a reflection of the light reflection of light means what whenever the light is falling on a very smooth surface actually we consider one of the smooth surface is actually a mirror right if you are have everyone yeah. is having a mirror at your home right yes yes sir and this reflects now just mute yourself okay i know my voice is not coming i'm just going to mute avita yeah. namkha khurdiki just mute yourself okay now i hope 
Oh, fuck, I'll be back again. Oh, we have a new oh. video show. Okay, now, what is actually the reflection of light? A reflection of light, that means the bouncing of the light after falling on a reflecting surface. Actually, we consider the mirror as a reflecting surface. Suppose uh, we all play football, basketball, someone's play cricket as well. There actually we use a ball and whenever you will just hit the ball on the wall, it will just comes back to you after bouncing it from the wall. Suppose you are having a rubber ball and you are just throwing it on the wall. So after getting bounced, it will comes back to you. Right? This is known as a reflection. A reflection means bouncing back. And here reflection of light means bouncing back of light after falling on a particular medium. Okay? So what is the definition of a reflection of light? Right? We are going to understand that what is the definition of a reflection of light. Okay? So I am just writing down here. Just write it as a note. Okay? Now you have to give the headings, whatever I have just given as well. Okay. So the reflection, that means the bouncing, the bouncing back, the bouncing back of the light from polished, from polished and shiny surface the bouncing back of the light from polished and shiny surface is known as reflection of light reflection of light now students my handwriting is not still improved no so whenever I will will just come back, still my handwriting will be as or as it is, right? But I'm just trying to improve the handwriting. But what I can do is like this: the bouncing back of the light from the polished and shiny surface is known as a reflection of light. Okay? Why does the reflection of light is clear? Suppose yes, just, sir. Now, whenever we are yes, okay, so whenever we are taking some examples, suppose you have entered in your room and initially you have not switched on the light of your room, so you are not able to see which things are placed where, right? Without the source of light, how you can see? Right, where the table is placed, where the chair, where the copy, where the pen, you are not able to see. Right, but whenever the light is switched on, so now you can see which object is placed where. Because whenever the light is switched on, the light waves they are falling on the objects and they are being reflected and they are reaching to your eyes. You can see a object. Whenever the light is falling on the object and it is reflected back to your eyes, then only you can see. Na? Otherwise, how can you see? Without the reflection of light, we cannot see any of the object. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, we are going to draw a simple diagram to understand the laws of reflection of light. Till that time, why does this page, everything is written? Yes, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, there are the different terms. Okay. No, sir. There are the different terms that we are going to understand for the reflection of light. In this case, we are taking the help of a mirror surface. Okay. So this is the surface of a mirror and the back side of the mirror is having the plastic cover or it is coated okay. Maximum times whenever we buy the mirror from the market, maximum times we buy the mirror from the market it is actually 
the back side is colored or the back side is having the plastic cover na everyone have the mirror at your home so you have a small mirror and a big size mirror right this is a small mirror is having the plastic cover in in the back side right now do you know why the plastic cover is used for the case of mirror or why the back side of the mirror is painted it can be red it can be black it can be any of the color maximum time it is having a deep color but why the back side of the mirror is painted everyone do you know that no sir no sir okay so whenever suppose you are going buy a car okay suppose you are going to market buy a car so you are just sitting with your father or suppose with the driver as well suppose you are ha you have hired a small car and you are just sitting with the driver and in front of the car there is a glass right in front of the driver there is a glass by which they are able to see the road or whatever the cars whatever the objects that is in front of the car so the glass is transparent we can say babita okay now the glass in front of the driver is transparent in nature you can see the objects in front of the car clearly right suppose every time whenever you are just traveling by a car or you are traveling by bus the glass is they are using they are actually transparent in nature and you can see the outside easily now if the back side of the glass is colored then you will not see it then you will not able to see the objects outside of the car if one side is colored just imagine right so the phenomena that i am explaining that suppose you are traveling by bus or you are traveling by car so in front of the driver there is a glass right which is transparent in nature so that's why you are able to see the objects clearly right but if one side of the glass is colored then you will not able to see the objects so in this case whenever you are watching through the transparent glass when it was not colored you are sitting with the driver and you are watching through the transparent glass then you can see the objects outside the car but you can't see yourself right whenever you are sitting with the driver with the transparent glass in front of you you can see the objects outside of the car but you can't see yourself yes sir right it is we yes, noticed sir. that whenever yes, we are sir. looking through the glass we are not able to see ourselves yes, sir. we are just able to see the objects which yes. is outside of the car so that's why whenever the mirror is made where we have to look ourselves one side of the mirror is coated it is being painted or it is having some plastic cover or any other thing right one side that yes, must sir. be covered with paint or it must be covered with some other thing it may be made up of wood it may be made up of plastic anything so one surface is very much of smooth right i'm just taking this one this surface is actually the smooth surface we are considering smooth and shiny right and the back side is actually coated by color or it is covered with some plastic material or wood material right so there are some kind of objects from which the light rays are coming that is the objects who have their own source of light they are known as luminous objects okay suppose a burning candle the sun a torch tube light bulb they have their own source of light they are not depending on the other sources for the light right so we can say there are some objects 
which are known as luminous objects because they have their own source of light. So suppose we have taken a small candle here. This is the candle, right? From which the light rays are falling on the mirror surface. So from this candle, one of the light ray which is falling on the mirror surface in this way. So whenever the light ray which is falling on the mirror surface, it will be reflected back and it will move to the same medium. So we can see the light ray which is falling on the reflecting surface. It is known as incident ray. Okay. And after getting bounced, which light ray is getting reflected back? This is known as a reflected ray. Okay. So from a luminous object, the light ray which is falling on the reflecting surface, this is known as incident ray. Right. Because this ray is incidenting on the surface. This light ray is incidenting on the surface. And after getting bounced back, the light ray which is moving towards the same medium, that means the light ray which is reflected back, this is known as a reflected ray. Is that clear everyone? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay, yes, sir. yes sir. Okay. So. Yes this, sir. Okay. So the mirror surface which I have written as smooth and shiny surface is a, it is also known as a, a reflecting surface for the light. Okay. This is also known as a ref reflecting surface for the light okay because with the presence of this reflecting surface the incident ray is able to reflect it back in the same medium so at the point of reflection so here the point at which the incident ray have touched the mirror surface that point is known as point of reflection okay so there we have explained what is an incident ray, what is a reflected ray, what is point of reflection. That means the incident ray is falling on the mirror surface and with respect to this point, it is getting reflected back in the same medium. Right? So that's why the point is named as point of reflection. Just draw the diagram. We will write down the definition and I will send you the notes of incident ray, reflected ray, point of reflection, then we'll study further in the next class, okay? So we have to write in copy? Yes, in your school copy you can write, okay? Just draw the diagram clearly with the help of scale and pencil. Sir, so can you please yeah. send it in the group because I missed some of the words. Okay, okay, I will send this uh, all this sir, writing in pdf form so okay. we have to submit yeah after yes, writing sir. you have to submit i will send this all the writing and so on even the video recording as well in the group okay so those students who are not okay, able sir, to but, attend the class they can get sir but what we have to draw just this diagram yes, that's all okay here we have just sir, sir, what is diagram sir, yeah. sir. yes Sir, can you send the pictures of diagram? You have to complete yes, all the sir. writing, what 